Hey, today I wanna talk to you guys about what's been happening, what deals I've been getting and maybe tell a story or two while we build this PC. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff here because I've been deal hunting a lot recently and it's about the time for me to build a bunch of PCs and put them up for sale. The PC that I'm building today is not much different from what I've been building the past year or two. It's always either a 10th gen processor with an RTX 2060 or a 4th gen i7 with a GTX 1050 Ti. People just seem to really like these two systems and as long as there's a demand, I'll keep on building them. Anyhow, let me show you guys all of the parts I've bought so far and let's decide what I wanna do with them. This is an H61 from Asus. It has an i7-3770 in it, 16GB of RAM and a small tower cooler that is plenty enough for such a CPU. Then we have another combo on H81 this time with an i5 and 16GB of RAM. In terms of GPU, I have a GTX 1050 that I wanna pair with either of these two combos. I do also have a GTS 450 that I wanna get rid of, but I really doubt that it can reliably run any semi-modern game at 60fps because if it's Minecraft or Valorant, you can run those games on iGPUs, so it doesn't really make sense for me to add this GTS 450 to any of my builds. For the storage, I'll be using these X-Ray Disk SATA SSDs because they are really good budget storage drives. I've ordered more than 100 of these at this point and none of them have failed so far, so I feel really safe using these drives. We'll be powering these systems with 500 watt power supplies from Goldenfield. Now I know that some of you guys will say that these power supplies are unreliable or too weak or something, but from my practice I've used more than 80 of these power supplies alone by the way and all of them have done their job extremely well. You gotta bear in mind that the systems we're putting these in draw no more than 150 watts and the label indicates that these power supplies can reliably provide 300 watts. If these were bad I would have known by now. Also, we're building extremely low, like bottom of the barrel PCs right now, and I give every customer one year warranty on these, so if anything goes wrong, I will cover the damage. In terms of cases, I always choose to build in really beautiful ones because whether it's a $100 or a $1000 PC, people want it to look good, and if it has some RGB, then it's even better. You gotta understand, people love beautiful products. And it's not just PCs, but literally every product on the market. It doesn't matter how good your product is if it doesn't look appealing to the buyer. Hence why I've been using these cases so much. They are the crowd favorites. Anyhow, our build is almost done. Here are some photos of the PC. As for the other ones, I think I'll build an office PC with the i5 and I'll pair the i7 combo with the GTX 1050. I kinda been wanting to build a PC with green LED lights lately, but since this H61 motherboard is blue, I think I'll match the color and build the system with blue lights instead. As for the office PC, I'm gonna build it a bit later because I'm waiting on a stock cooler to arrive that I wanna use on this i5. That cooler is a part of another combo that I purchased, which I'll be recording a video on as well. I actually have many videos planned out because I got lucky on way too many deals and I have a lot of content just sitting here waiting to be published. Let me show you guys what else I have here. I got this RTX 3060 12GB from a neighbor. He gave me a really good deal on it because he was in a bit of a hurry and he didn't want to sell it to some stranger and I know that it looks a bit dusty but it's actually pretty new. I think he used it for a month or two. Nowadays I try not to build systems with anything weaker than 4th gen i7s because anything weaker than those is more so obsolete. They're just too weak even for games like Valorant or CS2. I mean they can run those games pretty well but when people buy these PCs they wanna play a bit better graphics than the lowest ones and they wanna multitask like have bunch of browser tabs opened maybe even be talking to their friends on discord so I gotta make sure that these PCs have enough of a headroom for these kinds of tasks. Hence why I bought so many H81 motherboards, I'll be putting 4th gen i7s in every single one of these, unless I get some incredible deals on 4th gen i5 processors, like get them thrown in for free or something, because sometimes people just like giving away these older hardware for free, especially when you're nice to other people. On that note, I wanna thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.